हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप कुमार मंडल सीनियर कंसल्टेंट नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट एट कोलंबिया एशिया हॉस्पिटल पालम विहार गुड़गांव टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द किडनीज एंड क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज किडनीज आर अ पेयर ऑफ बीन शेप्ड ऑर्गन्स सिचुएटेड इन द एबडामन ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द स्पाइन इट मेजर्स अराउंड नाइन टू इलेवन सेंटीमीटर्स इन लेंथ the major function of the kidneys is to filter out the toxic materials from our body in the form of urine it also helps in maintaining the balance of electrolytes acid base and fluid in our body it also helps in the production of hemoglobin and activation of vitamin d which is required for bone health it also helps in maintaining the blood pressure under control so if there is any kidney dysfunction there will be accumulation of these toxic materials like uh, urea creatinine in the blood and there will be electrolyte disturbances like potassium levels will go up acid accumulation will occur and the hemoglobin levels will go down there will be bone disease and the blood pressure is usually out of control if the level of the toxic substances in our body increases it affects the other organs of the body as well and in advanced stages it can even cause death there are mainly two types of kidney dysfunction one is known as the acute kidney injury which occurs all of a sudden and it is usually reversible the other is the chronic kidney disease which is gradually progressive and can lead to irreversible kidney failure where either dialysis or kidney transplantation is required for the survival of the patient so it is important to know what are the risk factors for chronic kidney disease the majority of cases of chronic kidney disease or ckd is due to diabetes mellitus and hypertension the cases of which are progressively increasing as it is, as it is the lifestyle associated diseases and along with this the prevalence of chronic kidney disease is also increasing the other risk factors include recurrent urinary tract infections kidney stones a family history of kidney diseases and long term use of some medicines like uh, painkillers and even smoking and elderly age so person who has a risk factor of kidney disease should undergo screening for kidney disease this is important because diagnosis of ckd at an early stage will allow us to intervene early and decrease the chances of its progression to kidney failure so what are the screening methods for kidney uh, kidney diseases we can do the examination of the urine blood and sometimes even imaging studies particularly ultrasonography the presence of protein in the urine is one of the earliest signs of kidney disease particularly in cases of diabetes mellitus and in later stages there is an elevation of urea creatinine levels in the blood the creatinine levels in the blood can be used to calculate the glomerular filtration rate or the gfr which is the uh, which denotes the exact function of the kidneys so lower the gfr the more advanced is the kidney problem what are the symptoms of uh, kidney disease it is important to understand that in the early stages kidney disease may not have any symptoms and only in the later stages symptoms can develop these include swelling of the feet which can be gradual 
gradually progressive and can involve the whole of the body. There will be fatigue, weakness, decrease in appetite, vomitings and generalized itching. Shortness of breath can occur, anemia, hypertension and in later stages it can even involve the uh, brain and the heart and can cause confusion and seizures and even unconsciousness. So what are the methods by which we can reduce the progression of CKD to uh, kidney failure or we can prevent the development of CKD in a patient who has risk factors for it. The most important thing in patients of diabetes is to control the blood sugar meticulously. The HbA1c level should be maintained at around 7% and the blood pressure should be controlled properly. The systolic blood pressure should be between 120 and 130 and the diastolic blood pressure should be between 70 to 80 millimeter of mercury. Then there are certain medicines uh, which uh, are more beneficial in preventing the development of uh, CKD or its progression. So we have to use those medicines to slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease. Other uh, factors which are important in controlling the progression of CKD include prompt treatment of any urinary infection, prompt treatment of kidney stones, any urinary uh, obstructions and avoidance of smoking, avoidance of any medicines which can damage the kidneys, particularly painkillers. So the take home message is that chronic kidney disease is a major health problem in our country and the early diagnosis of the kidney problem is the key because early intervention will prevent the progression of kidney uh, disease into kidney failure. Uh, so uh, all patients who have risk factors for kidney disease should undergo screening for the disease and if any abnormality occurs in their urine examination or blood examination, they should consult the nephrologist immediately. Thank you.